The best thing about traveling solo is you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am on my way to the airport as usual. However, I am not working. I am non-revving to London. Um, this is my first time using my travel benefits to fly internationally. Usually I buy a ticket, but this time I decided why not non-rev. There's about 109 open seats, so I should be okay. Um, this is also my first time traveling solo. Um, I just decided two weeks ago that I wanted to go to London because that's what flight attendants do. We decide last minute when we want to go somewhere. So <laughs> two minutes notice, nobody could go. I asked a few people, but nobody else could go. So I'm just going to go by myself. And it's also my first time staying in a hostel. Um, I was going to do an Airbnb. I actually purchased an Airbnb. But then I thought about it and I was like, you know, if I'm going to do my first time traveling solo, I might as well also do my first time staying in a hostel just for fun. And it was also like $600 less. So I saved a lot of money with this. So um, with that being said, let's go to London. quite the journey um that uber ride it was two hours um the driver said it only takes 45 minutes to get from the airport to the city which is where i'm at but it took two hours to get here so i am tired um but i am here in my airbnb not airbnb I am here in my hostel. I'm actually by myself. There's nobody else in here. She said that I would be I'm by myself, but I don't know if it's gonna be like that for the whole week or not, because I'm here for seven days. But um, yeah, let me show you around real quick. So everything about this hostel is cool because you have to use your key to get in everywhere. So even to come to the different levels, the different floors. You have to use your key to even get in. Um, so this is the front door. And then when you walk in, there's a temperature control. There is a bathroom. This is just a toilet in here. Um, you have one bed, two bed, three, four, five, six. Um, and they said due to COVID, that only half the room would be taken. So if there were people in here, only three people would be in here if there were other people in here. But she said I'm by myself. So here is a mirror. You have your plugs up here. Here is the shower. You have your dispenser for the soap. And then you have the wall where they tell you how often they clean the bathroom. You have your lockers. And she said that my key opens up the locker, but I can't remember which locker she said was mine. So I have to go back and ask her which one is mine. Um, there's some more lockers. There's some hangers. And then there's the outside space. I'm downstairs. I don't know how many floors there are here, but I don't know if I can open this. I'm not going to try. But there's a sitting area out here. Nobody is out there right now, but it's kind of cute. They have little hammocks and stuff. Um, Inside the bed, they have lights right there. They have plugs. 
for your USB and for your phone trash can but yeah so I am by myself which is what I wanted that's how I wanted it to be because I I wasn't sure about staying in a hostel. So like I was saying earlier, this is only $150 for seven days. And the Airbnb here would have cost me $750. So I'm saving quite a bit of money staying here. She said the kitchen was closed due to COVID. So I had to go find some food somewhere, uh, which is fine. So, what I'm about to do is, I literally just walked in. I'm starving. Um, they didn't have the regular meals that they have on the plane for international flights. They usually have like a whole meal they give you, but today they only gave us um, a small salad, which is like this big. Um, it was a turkey salad, but it was good. It was really good. It had turkey, black beans, corn, tomato, lettuce. So it was really good, but I'm starving. <laughs> so I am going to put my stuff away and then eat some snacks that I brought and then look up something to eat and then go do that. So I know what you're thinking, Chantal, why are you still in your room? You're in London, go outside. Well, I have been awake for 30 hours now and I am so tired. Um, I wanted to go to sleep as soon as I got here, but I didn't want to mess up my sleep schedule, so I ate my snacks. I actually did go outside. I walked down to this Japanese restaurant that I saw online that was close to here, but when I got there, they were closed. So, it's also raining outside, but I walked around for a little bit to see what else was over there to eat, but I didn't see anything that I liked. So, I went ahead and I... Ordered some food online. Thank God for Uber Eats. I found this burger place that has gluten-free buns, so I ordered it from there. It's called um, Honest Burger, so we'll see what that's all about. The best thing about traveling solo is you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Like, I literally did not have to leave my room today. Um, I'm way too tired, and I don't have to feel bad about it. So since it's just since it's just me, but um, once I eat this, I probably go to sleep and then I'll be ready to go to early tomorrow morning. I have to go to the store to get some towels, um, get some towels, get an umbrella because, like I said, it is raining here. It's supposed to be raining all week. So uh, let's see, Ali, the guy. Picking up my food, delivering my food is at the restaurant, so I should be getting it pretty soon. thing that people may not know is that burgers in Europe taste much better than burgers in America. Hands down. No competition. It is day two of London and I am just now starting my day. I just got back from the grocery store. I had to get a couple of things. Um, let me show you guys what I got from the grocery store real quick. Here I got some apples, some cuties, I needed some towels, some grapes, and some water. So that is what I got from the grocery store. And then now I am going to eat some of this fruit, drink some of this water, and then I am going to go 
down to Tower Bridge, which is literally right around the corner from where I'm staying, which is not to be confused with London Bridge. I had to Google that. I thought London Bridge and Tower Bridge were the same bridges, but apparently they're two totally different bridges. So I am going down to Tower Bridge. to come back and show you guys um it started raining when i was at tower bridge and of course i still don't have an umbrella um look at my hair it's i'm like drenched in rain water i still don't have an umbrella so i had to go get one either tonight or tomorrow because this is not gonna work for me but traveling solo it's been cool it's only day two but it's literally exactly like being at work like i'm at work by myself i get on the plane by myself i go to the hotel hotel room by myself um so traveling solo is really not that different than what i already do it's actually not as intimidating as i thought it would be but yeah I, i'm kind of digging it it's not that bad Hey guys, it is day four of London. Um, I am getting ready to go to Starbucks and then I'm gonna go down to the um, Camden Market. It's a marketplace full of shops, food, vintage stuff. Um, so that should be fun, check that out. I was gonna go to the British Museum today, but you have to um, schedule a time to go online. It's free, it's totally free, but you have to schedule a specific time slot to go. And I selected mine for 1.40 p.m., but I didn't get out of bed until one o'clock, so I was definitely not gonna make it. So I scheduled it again for a few days from now, so. I scheduled it this time for like 3 o'clock I think so I should definitely be able to make it. But for now I decided I'm going to go check out the marketplace. Um, my friend who lives here said that it's better to go on the weekend so today is Saturday so it should be fun.
Hey guys, so I am back from Camden Market. Um, that place is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like um, just a large store, like a large market, but it's like a whole block, like a, even like longer than that. It's like two blocks of like nothing but store. You can definitely get lost in there. It's so big and there's so many people, so many stores. I didn't even get to see all of it because I got there um, kind of late. They closed at 6 o'clock and I think I got there around 4.30 and I was there until 5.30. Um, so I think I'll have to go back and then see because I wanted to get some um, some of the food they had there too. But let me show you guys what I got. Um, I definitely did not need this, but they had the coolest, like, punk rock store. Uh, I got some video when I was there, but they have this, like, one of my favorite bands, and Metallica, one of my other favorite bands. And then I also got, um, I found this store that sells stuff from Africa, and I thought these were really cool. Um, I don't know what kind of animal this one is, but this one is an elephant. And I thought it was really cool. They're made out of wood. So I got that. So that was what I did today. I kind of wish I went earlier so I could have, um, walked around more. But, um... Right now, I am going to get something to eat because I am starving. Um, for some reason, I keep, like, whenever I travel, I always forget to eat. Like, I literally will only eat once a day when I travel because I'm doing so many other things. So I have to be better at that. Be better at eating while I'm traveling. So, um, oh, I also walked down to the store. So, I've been going to this store, Tesco, down the street, and, okay, I've been here for four days. This is my second bag of popcorn that I bought. It's so good. I don't know what it is, but, yeah, Tesco popcorn. I, I got it the first day I got here, just randomly because I needed a snack, but then I was like, this is so good. It's like um, buttery and salty, so good. This is my second bag, and I've only been here for four days, so I'm going to try not to spend all my money on Tesco popcorn, but we'll see. But anyways, I am going to get some food, and then this is probably going to be it for me for tonight. Hey guys, it is day five of London, I think, it's day five. Um, today I had plans to go down to the Jack the Ripper Museum, but I got a phone call from the tattoo shop that I emailed and they had an appointment available today. So I am on my way to go and get a tattoo. Um, I follow a lot of European tattoo artists on Instagram, so I've always wanted to get one done in Europe. Um... So, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm not going to film inside of the tattoo shop so the others can have their privacy. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of things in my Instagram story that I don't vlog about on here. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see my, um, my tattoo because I probably won't show it on here. But you can go to my Instagram and see it on there. So, see y'all later. Hey guys, welcome to day five of London. I think it's day five. Um, today we are going to Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Stone Stonehenge. I think that's how you say it. Anyways, today we are going to Stonehenge. Um, I think I am going to stop the vlog here and then have a second part because this is getting quite long. So I will start the Stonehenge part in the London vlog part two. 
So that being said, um, I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you for watching this first part of the vlog. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe for more flight attendant travel videos. And don't forget to watch part two.